Hey everyone, welcome to the 30 day challenge. My name is Blair DeYoung, creator of the 30 day profit challenge and also a host here of Coffee with Blair. I wanna thank you for being here today as I really appreciate you making the time to join me today for this quick session on how to grow an e-commerce business that works for you. Now, I appreciate you signing up for the 30 day profit challenge. You're probably wondering what is this profit challenge all about? Or you may be even wondering, well, who's this Blair DeYoung guy? Well, hopefully between, two, between our few minutes today, I can answer both of those questions for you. So without further ado, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw up a few slides here on the screen and I'm gonna record this session so that you can understand and you know, watch through the video. If you wanna play it back or have any sort of questions for me at the end of it, you can send me an email and we can talk more about it. So without further ado, let's dive into it. So the profit litmus test is something we're going to talk a bit about, but I also want to kind of highlight the fact that there's a participation award for listening and watching all these videos. So all you got to do is show up for 30 days. I'm going to show up for 30 days for you. All I ask in return is that you show up for 30 days for me. And then that way we can have an, a, a build a hopefully a healthy relationship over the next 30 days that will last past hope of the challenge. And we can continue to understand more about your e-commerce business. So if you do make it, make it to every single one of the 30 days, what I'm going to do is then turn around and give you an hour of my time to sit down for a private coaching session and we'll talk through your business and hopefully help you unlock and uncover any sort of hidden profits in your business. So why the 30 day profit challenge? Well, all, you know, there, you know, you may be struggling with a few things. Maybe you're struggling to make a few bucks in your first e-commerce business. Maybe just that first sale to get going. Perhaps you're overwhelmed with making tons and tons of sales, but yet you're not making a profit yet. You're not really generating any sort of income off of your e-commerce business. Or perhaps you're a little bit scared. Maybe you're in your e-commerce business and now that with this pandemic crisis on our hands, it's like, what do I do about my business? Do I have to lay people off? Do I have to maybe sell off some inventory? Do I got to close up shop? There could be a lot of questions on your mind, a lot of uncertainty and fear of the, of the current pandemic and understanding, well, what is it that I'm gonna do about my business going forward? Well, guess what? I've had my own struggles too. I've been there too, and I share a lot of those same struggles with you. You know, I started off with my career well in the kind of mid 2000s, 2005, where I was working for a company. And guess what? The Department of Justice down in the States thought that our company founders were up to a bit of shady business. And so they ended up arresting them for money laundering. And we, overnight, we lost 70% of our revenue and had to lay a whole bunch of people off. So that was kind of no fun. From there, I kind of spent some time dabbling on the side with some affiliate marketing, doing some Google ads. And, uh, you know, I spent a lot of good money to Google to pay for a lot of those G's and O's and G's <laughs> in their name uh, through all my education that I learned on how to do Google AdWords. But I struggled a lot trying to even make a buck and, and probably I probably spent more money than I've made money in doing all those different tests back in the day. From there, I worked in an outdoor retailer and I actually got let go because they just ran into cash flow problems and they couldn't afford to pay people anymore. And I tried even consulting where I got a little bit burnt out. And you know what I found in all these sort of scenarios was the fact that you know what the, the business owners were thinking about was the top line revenue. They weren't really focusing on the bottom line revenue, which is profit. And profit really at the end of the day is what money you can count on and bank on to put into your pocket or into your investors' pockets or your shareholders or your employees' pockets. And so what I want to take you through in this 30-day challenge is really not talking about how you grow your sales. You know, a lot of people can teach you how to get to a million dollars in sales, but are they really making a million dollars in profit? And that's really the question you got to ask yourself. So throughout this 30-day challenge, what I'm going to try to showcase for you is how do you take your business to that next level and how do you generate a million dollars of profit for your business or 100,000 or 10 million or 100 million, whatever that number needs to be, it doesn't really matter. What the truth of the matter is, is that you're looking at profit for your business and not revenue. And so hopefully this will help you give you some perspective on it as we move along. So when we think about profit, we also have to think about the profit litmus test. And I like to use it as a metaphor because I'm a big fan of metaphors. I like to use things that give people a bit of an analogy or something they can relate to. And so in this case, when we're talking about the profit litmus test, what we're talking about here 
is basically a, a, an ability for you to measure all of the different properties of your current business and in a way that you can actually understand what's making up your profit margin for your business. So here's how we break it down. We start with looking at your product margin. Now your product margin, think of that as anything related to the products that you're buying or selling to your, to your customers. So it's around the pricing of the product, it's around how many units are sold, it's around the average order values, the average basket size, the unit prices, the unit quantities, all those sort of metrics that you would understand about your business to understand the product margin. That's what we talk about when we're talking about product margin. The second thing we're gonna talk a bit about is order margin. And what order margin is, is basically when you think about things that are tied to the number of orders or the volume of sales that you do. So this could be things related to things like returns or discounts or per order charges, things like payment processing fees or fixed fees related to the platform, the software that you need to use to run your e-commerce business. So think of those as things that you would look at under the order margin umbrella. Next, we've got the customer margin umbrella. And with customer margin, what that kind of refers to is all the costs that are related to acquiring customers in the first place. So, you know, if you're just starting out your business or if you're very mature in your business, the customer margin is something that will basically, probably where you'll spend a lot of time and a lot of dollars potentially at the beginning, getting new customers in the door. But hopefully over time, you're able to convert those customers into more returning customers or recurring revenue for your business. So you're not always having to pay for it for it to come in the door. And then finally, we've got your conversion margin. So once you've been converting customers, there may be people that you're converting from paid to organic customers. But even let's just even take a step back and look at your conversion funnel. You know, you probably have a whole bunch of opportunity and a whole bunch of people out there that you could possibly be selling to. How do you take all of those people and funnel it down to potential leads or prospects, and then from there, from leads and prospects into potential customers. And so with the conversion margin, we're gonna look at, you know, how do we look at all those different parts of the business of getting from the big wide open option of the whole world, all the way through down to customers into your business that have funnel all the way through. So that in a nutshell is what I'd like to coin as the profit litmus test. Now, because I'm recording this video, not live, I'm not gonna do the poll here, on the video, but what I will do is in the chat, um, or if you're watching this video over YouTube or Facebook, I'll put the poll up on there for you to take a look at. Because what I want to understand is, is what are you most excited to learn about when we talk about this profit litmus test frame? So in the next lesson, what I'm going to talk a bit about is gross profit versus gross margin. And what gross profit versus gross margin means is really is a definition around um, you know, the, how we define profit and how we calculate it. So a lot of times people use the two terms interchangeably. And what I want to do is kind of establish how you would calculate those. And then from there, help you understand how do you look at gross margin versus gross profit for your business. So with that, I want to thank you for being here today. I want to thank you for joining me for this first session in the 30 day profit challenge. I know it's been short and sweet, but that's the point. I'm trying to make sure that these are little nuggets of gold that you can hopefully take with you in your day-to-day -day life in terms of evaluating your e-commerce business. Because at the end of the day, when you take over 30 days, there's hopefully 30 nuggets of gold that you can pile up and make into a hopefully a gold brick of insight that will allow you to drive more profit more in your business. See what I just did there? Another little metaphor. Anyways, long story short, I really want to thank you today again for making the time, for grabbing a coffee with me. And I want to leave you with a, a, a word of affirmation to be present today connect with other people and make an impact in their life today. Thanks and have a great day.